What's up, SunClan family? It's your girl, Radiance, and welcome back to my channel, Chasing Sunray, and I am here today with another brand new tutorial. Today, we are going to learn to make this beautiful one-piece bathing suit. Um, I have been seeing this style a lot lately. Like, it's super trendy, super modern, you know, this is this that heat for the summer. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, we keep it spicy over here. We keep it real zesty. This is what the people want. So, y'all know I got to give the people what they want. But it's a, um, I feel like it's a pretty, um, uh, I would say beginner friendly, but kind of advanced friendly. Because y'all know we ain't slowing down over here. When you come to the clan, you know, you need to know your stitches because I'm not, I'm not moving slow, but I'm not moving fast. So, you know, it's very beginner friendly if you know your stitches and you can follow along pretty well to a voice tutorial. But I'm not really going to talk a lot today about this bathing suit. I'm just going to jump right into this tutorial because, as y'all know, my people that's live with me right now, we live, SunClan family live with me doing this voiceover. But, yeah, we're going to jump right into this. As usual, we're going to be using a size for worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm using, I love this cotton by Hobby Lobby. Today, we're using a 5 millimeter crochet hook. And you will also need... A pair of scissors yes so to start off we are just going to do a slip stitch per usual and we are going to chain up a chain of 10 and you guys this is actually the crouch of the bathing suit we are starting at the crouch and we are going to work up from the crouch to the front so yeah, we're just doing a chain of, <clears throat> of 10. And now you're gonna want to put a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and every chain all the way down. By the time you get to the end of this, you should have eight double crochet all together. I'm just gonna fast forward through that because y'all know we, we ain't even trying to see all that extra. So yeah, here we are at the end of that row and we have eight double crochet all together. And now all you're going to do is just work this um, eight double crochet back and forth for six rows all together. So this will be our second row. So again, the chain two does count as the first double crochet. So you're just going to um, double crochet right into that next stitch and all the way down until you get to the very last stitch. Yeah, so we're going to we're going to work six rows of eight double crochet and that is um that is the crouch so yeah i'm gonna just uh speed that up any minute now Yeah, China, that, um, as I told y'all, you guys, I'm live with the SunClan family and I'm answering some of their questions. Yes, this bathing suit is like super trendy, so I could definitely see, you know, great minds think alike. But yeah, here we are at the end of row six, and now we're going to chain up two. And now what we're going to do are we're going to be increasing one on each side. So put two double crochet in that first one, so that chain two did count as a stitch. So you're just going to put another double crochet right in there. And then you're just going to double crochet all the way down. Again, we're only increasing one on this row in the next five. So you're going to have, you're going to do six rows of one increase. So you're going to increase on the very first stitch and work it all the way down. And you do not put an increase in the last one, because again, we're only increasing on one side and y'all my computer is about to go dead i know you fucking lying let me put this on the charger but yeah we're gonna do that um we're going to do that six rows of that six rows of just one increase on each side okay there we go yeah i'm sorry i'm probably making a lot of noise on this thingy but i gotta get Got to get myself together because I got some place to go. And I'm praying when I get there. I see everybody I know. No, I'm going to stop. But, yeah, we're going to um work that up for six rows. So, all together, we should have about, when you get done working your one increase, you should have about, um you should have exactly 12 rows all together. So, yeah, chain up two. 
and place a double crochet in that same exact stitch and continue working down. And again, you guys, I am live right now with the Sun Clan on um, YouTube Live. I'm usually live in our Facebook group, which if you are not a part of, uh, come join. But yes, that is the end of that row. Wait, no, wait, wait. That's not the end. We still got some more. But yeah, if you're not a part of the Sun Clan family, what are you really doing with your life? I will drop a, a link in the description box below so you guys can... Come and join the Sun Clan family and get all of your questions answered. All the help that you need is the easiest and quickest way to get in contact with me. But yeah, here we are. We just worked up, um, we just worked up, you know, the six rows of one increase on each side. So now we are going to do six rows of two increase and when i say two increase i mean we're going to increase on both sides so we just chain up one and again that's the first stitch we're going to place another double crochet in that exact same stitch and then we're going to crochet all the way down until we get to the very last stitch and when we get to the very last stitch we are going to put two double crochet inside of that stitch and again we are going to repeat that for five more rows for a total of six rows and all together at this point you should have a total of 18 rows once you're done you should have six rows of eight double crochet no increase then you should have six more rows of us just increasing on one side then you should have six more rows of us Increasing two on each side for a total of 18 rows. But yes, just work that up for six rows. Mm -mm. Yep, I think I actually, um, I just show as much on camera as i possibly could because i know a lot of you guys like to see as much as possible on camera so i won't really be talking a lot because i've already explained exactly what it is this is the actual video this is the actual video you guys like i said i'm doing questions and answers on live um as i'm recording this voiceover for the tutorial but yes, this is the actual um, <laughs> tutorial. So yes, hey girl, hey. They gonna hear it, they gonna hear it. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, I've already explained it, so it's really nothing more besides y'all can just see a physical visual of what I'm doing. Because I know some of you guys like that better. So yeah, we just came up on the end of our sixth row. This is us coming up on the end of our sixth uh, row of this all together, 18. My weekend was uh, pretty boring. I was editing this video the whole weekend pretty much. So yeah, here we are on the end of row 18. And now we are just going to work with no increases for the next four rows. Um, so all together, you're going to have 22 rows with these next four rows. You are just going to work it back and forth. No increases. So again, six rows of no increase at the very beginning for the crouch, six rows of one increase on each side, six more rows of two increase on each side, and then four rows of no increase. So yes, this is just me doing the no increase rows. But um yeah, with with doing starting a crochet YouTube channel is it's a lot of work. Even with a regular YouTube channel, like I said, if you're just doing it for fun, you know, and it's not being consistent and you're not serious about it, then it can be. But it's a lot of work goes into editing and shooting and everything. Like it's it's not all handy dandy and you know how people try to make us definitely a lot of work goes into vlogging and things. But yes, here we are. I think we're coming up on the end. Yeah, we're coming up on the end of our fourth row of no increase, which is our 22nd row all together. And once you get to the end of that, you are just going to finish it off. 
we are about to finish it off and then we are going to reattach at the other side so we can start working the booty we done did we done did the vajayjay part we did a little crouchy crouch front part of our vaginas covered up now we need to cover up the booty so we're just going to reattach into the first um stitch and this time we are increasing on the we're increasing two on the first two stitches in the last two stitches so we are increasing for a total of four times so we're going to um you know reattach let me just get us back in focus here on the camera so chain up two well three and pull it tight so you can attach it and then you're just going to place a double crochet in that exact same stitch let me get us back in focus real quick yep double crochet in that same stitch and then the next stitch we're going to put two more we're going to put two double crochet in the next stitch as well because again we're increasing double time this time Two in that one and now you're just going to um, double crochet place one double crochet in each one across until you get to the second to the last and again once you get to the second to the last you're going to place two double crochet in that stitch and then two in the very last stitch and the reason why we are increasing so much is because you know you want your booty part to be wide you know you want to increase it a little bit faster than what we increased the front part because you want you know i was going for like a full coverage for this i'm thinking about doing a um a thong version as well just to show you guys if you want to do the um thong version of this so yeah so now for this next row we're going to regular increase which is Increase one on each end. So chain up two counts as the first double crochet and place another double crochet in that same stitch. And then you're just going to double crochet all the way down until you get to the very last stitch. And once you get to the very last stitch, you are just going to place two double crochet in there. You know, per usual, like like we always do. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so now we're just going to repeat that pattern once more. And when I say repeat that pattern once more, I mean we're going to increase again like we did the first row, which was two in the first, two in the second, two in the second to the last, two in the very last. And then we're going to do another row of just the regular increase. So yeah, so let's increase double time once more. So again... Chain up two counts as the first double crochet, double crochet in that exact same stitch, then two double crochet in the stitch next to that. And I actually messed up on this row. I ended up not, um, I didn't increase right on the very last one. So don't watch what I'm doing, but listen to me. You put two double crochet in the first, two double crochet in the second. You're going to go all the way down till you get to the second to the last. Once you get to the second to the last stitch, you are going to put two double crochet in that one. As you can see right here, I did not do that. And then you're going to put two inside of the last one. So make sure you put, um, make sure you do that and don't follow along with me because I'm clearly fucking up. But yeah, so I make mistakes too. So yeah, now we are just going to increase regularly as we would with any bathing suit bottom, which is, um, Increase one at the end and one on one on the beginning. So of course two in that first stitch and double crochet all the way down until we get to the very last one. And once we get to that very last one, we are going to put two double crochet in that. And you are going to continue working that until you have a total of 18 rows for the back. So yeah, we're just going to do the regular increase. Two at the beginning, two at the back, two at the last I meant. Until we have a total of 18 rows. And this is me coming up on my 18th row because superpowers, the power of editing, you know, we just get right on through that. We don't, we don't need to see that. Just pause me so y'all can work y'all rows up and come back when you are done with your 18 rows. And now we are just going to work it back and forth regularly for four rows. <clears throat> so yeah we done did our rows of increase now we need to do our regular rows we're going to do four rows for a total of 22 rows all together so yeah so just chain up two that counts as that very first double crochet and then just double crochet all the way down till you get to the end and then you know repeat it three more times for a total of four no increases and 22 all together but yes y'all that's how you get if you know when you work in the butt 
a lot of times I don't increase like that. Like, you know, I just do the regular increase, one on each end, one on the other end, because I like like a Brazilian style cut. But if you don't want the Brazilian style cut and you want it more, don't be afraid to add extra increases for the first couple rows. But I don't recommend doing extra increases back to back. I recommend to stagger them between regular increases and extra increases so that it doesn't go wide too fast. But that's how you, you know, you get more coverage with that. But again, you have to think the front. I look at the front part of the bathing suit as the crouch part too. So when you work the crouch naturally, you know, so that means you work six rows of no increase for the very first front part of that. So naturally, you know, the butt is going to increase quite a few anyways, because it's usually six rows of increase for the back that the front doesn't have. So, you know, it gives it more coverage. But you want even more coverage from that then, you know, you just increase more. If I hope, I, did that make sense? People that's watching me live do this voiceover, does that make sense what I just said? But yeah, we at the end of our fourth, um, our fourth row of no increase, and we're just gonna chain up six and then reattach it to the front. So once you get to the end of that row, you're just gonna chain up six and then reattach it to the front. If you are doing a larger size, you are going to want to add more than six chains. You are going to want to add um enough chains that you can go all the way around to um, your waist. It should be your waist measurements. So that means you need to measure the front part of your bathing suit, measure the back part of your bathing suit. However many inches you need to get to your waist measurements, then you are going to um, add that many chain inches. Inches, oh, hold on. Inches worth of chains. So yeah, so however many that you need, to, and then you're gonna reattach to the other side of the front, chain up however many more chains you need. I'm doing six and I am making a small slash medium. So I'm just reattaching here. And I'm gonna, um, you know, chain up six and I'm gonna reattach it to the other butt part. So I just chain up six. You need to chain up enough that, um, you know, it's to your waist measurements. So yeah, so here I am just reattaching it to the back. And I'm just going to finish off. And then once I finish off, I am just going to reattach at the middle back section because now we have to make um, the belt loop for the waist. And the reason why I like to put a belt loop in the waist is because, you know, when you're pulling up these bathing suits over your hips to get to your waist part, it will stretch the bathing suit out. If you have a super big booty and a super small waist, it's going to stretch out your bathing suit. So to counter attack the stretch of the bathing suit, I like to put a belt loop in it so that any little extra slack that it comes, that it gets, you know, we can just counter attack that with a belt. So yeah, so we're just going to reattach in the middle of the back and you are just going to chain up two and we are just going to have double crochet all around one one half double crochet in each stitch around and this is how I do all of my belt loops not even just in bathing suits but in anything this is the technique um the technique that I'm about to show you guys is the technique that I use to create this with anything you know uh you can use it to create drawstrings some people like to thread their um, chain just through the stitches, but I feel like that just gives it a not so professional look. I actually like to put the belt loops onto the bathing suit or whatever I'm doing. Cause I just, I don't know, I, I feel like it gives it a cleaner look than just weaving a chain through stitches. So yeah, you're just gonna, when you get to the chain part, you know, you're just gonna place a half double crochet in each chain or whatever. And then you just keep working it around as usual. And as y'all can see, I was really fighting with my camera when I was recording this tutorial. I just could not get the focus together. I don't know why. I'm like, is it too much, too many things in my background or what? But I could not keep my focus together. I think it's because I be crocheting too close to the camera. That's got to be the reason why. So yeah, and we're just going to place a slip stitch into that very first half double crochet. We are not placing a slip stitch into the chain up two. We're placing it in that very first half double crochet. So yeah. And this, the chain up two does not count as a stitch on this part. 
So chain up two, and you're going to turn your work. And do not place the stitch inside of that slip stitch. You're going to place it inside of that double crochet. So skip that slip stitch and place your half double crochet right into the half double crochet, the very last one. And then you're just going to half double crochet all the way around as usual. You know, not doing anything special, just half double crochet around. Oh, you guys, the joys, the joys of recording a voiceover. So, yeah, here we are coming up on the very end of that. I'm putting in my last half double crochets. And once I um put in my last half double crochet again, I am just going to and make sure you put that last half double crochet into that um into that stitch with the slip stitch because that is you know that does count that does count and you're just going to want to slip stitch into that very first half double crochet again that chain two did not count as a double crochet i mean as a half double crochet so you don't slip stitch into that but the actual stitch so now we're going to work the actual belt loop and so to work the belt loop what you're going to do you need to find the very first stitch the very first stitch in the very first row of half double crochet so that means you need to go down not in the row that we just did, but the row up under that. And that can be a little tricky, so just watch what I'm doing so you can make sure that you're doing it right. And you're going to treble front posts around that very first stitch in the first row of half double crochets. So since we placed it there, we must we must skip the um the stitch that we would normally be working in and then single crochet in the next three stitches. So because we have because we treble front post into that um into the row below you will skip the row that we would actually be working into for that so yeah so just count out and put a um count out three below and then put the treble into the next one and again skip over that stitch and work three more single crochets so it's basically um it's a Intervals of four. You're going to do a uh, treble front post, and then you're going to do four single crochets. Treble front post, four single crochets. Treble front post, four single crochets. And that's how you create um, a belt loop. And again, you can use this technique in almost anything. Like it's, You can use this technique for a lot of things. But yes, this is me coming up on the very end of that. Y'all, I am just... I'm trying not to talk too much because he will be like, yeah, you be talking too much. But when I tell y'all this is boring, this boring. <laughs> and I got like a whole 20 more minutes left of explaining this. But yeah, here we are coming up on the end of that. And we are just going to place a slip stitch into that very first one. And we're going to finish off. I'm changing colors here. You don't have to change colors. I'm changing colors. But you could do it all the way solid, but I'm not going to. But either way, you even if you are using the same color, you're still going to have to uh to finish off here because we're gonna reattach and start working the top section. So we have the bottom section finished at this point. So yeah, I'm just finishing off now. Uh and this is what your bottom should look like at this point. Let me just straighten it up a little bit. But yeah, this is what your bottoms should look like at this point. So now we just are going to mark off. Let me freeze frame. We are going to mark off where we need to reattach our yarn at. And to know this, what you need to do is count how many um count how many stitches you had in the back and how many you added to the sides. I know I had 44 stitches across the back piece of my work, and I know that I added six chains. So altogether, um, I think mine was like 56. 56 all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 56. I'm going to divide that by 2, which equals 28. So I need to find my very center stitch of the back of my piece, the center 
the center stitch in the middle of the back of your bottoms and I'm going to count out 28 stitches from there to cheat to cheat on this way is to basically just find um find the side piece you know you can really reattach anywhere on the side but count out 28 stitches so there it is and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side and that's where you're going to stop at so yeah so now I'm just going to reattach and chain up Two, which counts as my very first double crochet and I'm going to add because we're going to be increasing for the next seven rows so you're going to put two double crochet into that very first one and then you're going to um double crochet down and I want to have a cutout on my back you could not do a cutout but I'm going to do a cutout so for the next I think I double crochet in the next five stitches and then after that I chain a chain of 44 which is how many um, stitches that I have across the back of my piece. So I chained a chain of 44, and this is me chaining up that chain. I really should uh, fast forward through this part, but ain't nobody got time for that. And hey, Instagram, y'all, now I'm live on my Instagram feed. You guys, my Instagram people, hey, y'all, I'm recording my voiceover for the tutorial that I'm dropping today or tomorrow. I'm not sure which one. So hey, you guys, y'all, what's up, SunClan family? Y'all gonna be in the look, y'all. Y'all in the voiceover for this tutorial. So yeah, that's what I'm, um, I'm here doing a voiceover though. So yeah, so now I chained up my chain of 44. And here I am, I'm just, um, you know, once again, because I did do six, really seven, because I increased, but six stitches on the other side. So I got to do six stitches on this side. So yeah, I counted six back from where I have my place marker. So yeah, I'm going to just place my six double crochet in there and then make sure that you add an extra stitch in that very last um, stitch because, you know, we are increasing. So it's all together seven, but it's really low-key six. So yeah, here we are coming up on that very last one. Hey, Hook Miracle B. And yeah, so now we are just going to continue increasing one on each side for the next seven rows. Or I think it should be seven rows all together of increasing. And this time, instead of chaining across the back, we are going to place a double crochet in each of those chains. But yeah, we just chain up two. That counts as the first double crochet. So we're going to place another double crochet in that same stitch because, of course, we are increasing. And now we are just going to double crochet all the way down. Remembering to place one double crochet in each chain across. And we're just going to, again double crochet until we get to the very last stitch and once we get to the very last stitch we are of course going to be adding a um extra stitch because we are increasing so again we are increasing one on each side for the next seven rows seven all together I'm so ready to finish this voiceover. It doesn't even make any sense. But yes, here we are coming up on the very end of that. We just place in two double crochet in that one. And again, just repeat that for seven rows, seven rows of two increase. This voiceover is for the, I haven't posted the, I haven't posted the piece that this voiceover is for, actually. I haven't posted it here on Instagram. I posted it in my Facebook group, but not here. But I'm going to post it once I get done with this voiceover. So yeah, we just did seven rows. So now we are just going to be working um, the rows back and forth with no increase. We're going to do eight rows of no increase, you guys. So chain up two and just double crochet into the next stitch and one in each all the way down until you get to the very end and you're just gonna do that for eight rows so eight rows of no increase but yeah i haven't posted this uh i haven't posted a picture of this anywhere except for on facebook 
when I do the thumbnail for this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the piece up. But I think I showed I showed some people on live the other day though. Um, y'all gonna be making a one piece, this cute one piece bathing suit whenever I get done with this tutorial. Of course you can DM me. My DMs are always open. So yeah, here we are at the very end of this row and you're just going to chain up two. And place a double crochet in the next stitch and all the way down until you have eight rows. But yes, this is me. I just did my eight rows. Of course, y'all know we fast forwarded because we who has the time? So yes, you're going to place a stitch marker in the 10th stitch from the very beginning. Then you're going to um, count out 12 from that one and place another stitch marker. Then you're going to count out 12 more and place a stitch marker. Then you're going to place a stitch marker right beside that one. Yes, give me a second. So yeah, so so then you're gonna place 12 more in between these two. And then we're gonna place 12 more in between these two. Let me back up, cause I'm all up in this microphone messing up my games. Count it out, count it out, count it out, count it out. And then of course you have the nine left. Understand that if you chain more than six, when we attach the bottoms, the front bottom, the front part of the bottoms to the back part of the bottoms, that you will have more um, spaces in between than what we had. So, yeah, you have to work that out because it's basically like the armpit hole is what you're basically marking out for. So just chain up one. And we are going to decrease. So skip that stitch, that next stitch, and go right into the one after that. And you're going to double crochet all the way down until you get to the um, second to the last stitch. And once you get to the second to the last stitch, you are going to skip it and go right into that very next one. So yeah, that's what you should have. And from here on out, we are just going to decrease on one end. We're only going to decrease, we're going to decrease one on each end. So chain up two. Skip that very first, um, that next stitch, and double crochet into the one after that, and continue working all the way down, placing one in each, one in each um, stitch. So yeah, you're going to continue working that same pattern back and forth, back and forth, until I believe you have uh, two stitches left. So yeah, the first one we um, decrease one on each side, and then after that we just uh, then after that we just um, decrease one one on one side. So yeah, so the first one we did two decreases. The next the next one we are going to do one decrease, and we are going to keep working one decrease until we get to uh until we only have two stitches left. So yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna actually end up fast forwarding through this part. I'm not sure yeah. But yeah, just watch me so you can get a visual because I've already explained it. Just watch it and you'll get a visual of what we're doing. I feel like I have did a shitty job kind of on this voiceover. But I feel like I did a good job visually, so you guys should be able to follow along. Regardless, and after the show is the after party. Y'all got these old songs stuck in my head, so don't mind me. But again, like I said, you're going to keep uh, decreasing one on each row until you have two left. So yeah, one more row of decrease. And now what you are gonna wanna do is you're just going to want to chain up a chain of about 25, 30, 35, 40, whichever floats your boat. And then you're just going to want to single crochet in the second chain from that hook and continue going all the way down, work it all the way down. 
Because this is going to be your um your shoulder strap. But yeah, just work that all the way down until you get back to the end. And once you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch into that double crochet right there on the other side. Not the one that we started off from. And just finish off. And then what you're going to want to do is reattach and do that to the other side. And remember, this is the um this is the very I don't know how to explain it in words. Uh, of course my camera fell as usual. It's always that's nothing new. It's always falling. But yeah, we're just gonna finish off and just reattach at the other side and do the same thing. Now we're going to work the back strap. So you're going to work um between that very next stitch marker beside the one that we just did to the one in the middle because remember we put two of them back to back beside each other so yeah so this is the back strap we skipped the arm put hole and now we are at the back strap i wish that i would have showed you better but we're going to decrease one on each side so of course you're going to skip that next stitch and go into the one after that and you're going to double crochet all the way till you get to the second to the last and once you get to the second to the last you're going to skip the second to the last and go into the very last one so yeah so you're going to decrease you're going to do two decreases one at the beginning and one at the end for this very first row but yeah, I wish I would have actually showed you guys where I might actually go back in and add that into it. Because I do want y'all to know exactly where I'm working. Where I'm working at. But yeah, this is it. And I actually double crochet two together for this one. But you can double crochet two together or you can skip the second to the last and double crochet into the last one. Either way, it's still a decrease. And now you're going to decrease one on each side once again. So here we are, I think, let me make sure. I believe we are decreasing one on each side again. I think we did it two rows before we started just increasing one. Oh no, actually we, yeah, 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 yeah. You decrease um, two on that one. Now we are decreasing only uh, um, one. So the very first one, we decrease on one side and don't decrease on the other side. And you're going to continue working that until you only have two double crochets as well, just like we did for the front strap. Yep, you're going to continue working that until you only have two. And you're going to do the exact same thing that you did, that one that you did on the first strap. And of course, I didn't do the other strap, the other back strap, or the other front strap on camera. But you just reattach and do the exact same thing that we did. So it'll be four straps all together. Two front, two back. But yeah, I still, I really wish that I would have um, showed you guys um, exactly where we were reattaching to each part. But maybe I can fix it in the, when I do the titles, maybe um I can add titles to specifically let you guys know whenever we place our stitch marker so you guys can know which is where. <coughs> but again, um it's really nothing much to say at this point. You know, you just watch and get a visual of what I'm doing. I really have nothing to say. Y'all know y'all be telling me my ass be talking too much. So I'ma just shut up and, and let the video do the talking for itself. And I, I will always love you. Y'all, that song been stuck in my head. Between that song and Ignition. See, I'm not trying to be rude. But hey, pretty girl, I'm feeling you. Between all them songs, I just can't stop singing them, y'all. I just can't. Let's be a football coach, the way you got me playing field. So, baby, give me that tutu. But, yeah, here we are. Coming up on that. But, yeah. 
So now you are just going to want to place count up seven rows and place a stitch marker on that seventh row. Then count up eight rows and count up um, and place a stitch marker. And this is how we'll know where we are going to be working in between to work the breast straps. So basically you're working the breast straps in all of the rows that we didn't increase um, on when we were making this part. So yeah, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna reattach and you're just going to place C, uh, C. You're just going to place two single crochets in each double crochet edge. Again, you know, it's really nothing between the two stitch markers. But again, you know, it's really nothing much to say. I'm gonna let the video do the talking for me. So yeah, here we are at the end of this. Now we're gonna start doing um, double crochet. So you're going to chain up to, well, never mind. We ain't got, we haven't quite got there yet. I'm sorry, I'm moving a little too fast. Making my way downtown, walking fast, face is fast and I'm homebound. But yeah, so that's what that should look like. So now you're just going to chain up two. And of course, as always, that does count as the very first stitch. And we're going to decrease one on each side. So skip that next stitch and double crochet into the one after that. And go all the way down till you get to the second to the last. Once you get to the second to the last, you, of course, are going to skip that stitch and work a double crochet inside of the stitch after that. But again, I'm going to let the video do the talking. So yeah, there you have it. So now you're gonna do one more row of an increase on each side. I think, make sure. No, actually, I think we just do one row of uh, two increases on each side and then all the rest of the rows we're only increasing, I mean, not increasing you guys, I'm so sorry, decreasing. So the first row we decrease um, two, we decrease two, one on each side for two rows. I'm sorry, we do do it for two rows. So for two rows, we are doing two increases, one on each side. Now, after this, we are just doing, again, one inc one decrease on each side. Y'all, I am so sorry for mixing up these words. I hope I am not confusing you guys. But yeah, so you're going to do two rows of two decrease. And then all the rest of the rows, you are just going to decrease one. And that's at the very beginning of the row. And you're going to keep working it down until you only have three stitches left. So again, I'm, I'm just going to shut up and let the video do the talking. But yeah, here we are. And so we're going to do um, four rows of three single crochet. So that's row number two, we need two more. So you're gonna have four rows of, um, of three double crochet and then for that fifth one we are just going to um once you do the four we're just going to decrease once once more so that we have two and then we're just going to finish off and then you're just going to reattach right on the other side and do the exact same thing and that's it you guys besides doing the edging you are finished with this tutorial i hope it was good y'all i low-key feel like um 
I low-key feel like uh, I kind of didn't explain it good enough, but this is where you're going to do your edgings at. I'm just fastly going through how the edging would work because I'm not going to do the edge on camera because, again, who has the time? Ain't nobody got time for that. But, yes. Now, for the bottom edging, you can do a regular edging. Or, for me, I'll put in some little loops to put in um, to put in some drawstrings. And how you do the loops is, for the first four, remember we did four rows where we did not increase or decrease. For those four rows, you're going to do, on each row where you do the edge, instead of just putting two single crochet in, you are going to um, put a single crochet, chain three, then a single crochet. And then again, repeat it, single crochet, you repeat it in the next edge, single crochet, chain three, single crochet. And you do that um, four times for each side so that you can, um, if you want to put in, you know, those chains, you don't have to put in the, uh, the straps on the side. How I got mine, this bathing suit looks perfectly well without the side straps, but I think it just adds like a little extra flair, gives a little more coverage if you don't all, want all of your sides and stuff out for that. So yeah, that's how you do the edging or you just put it on regularly. And that concludes our tutorial. Y'all, I really hope that this tutorial was helpful. I hope I explained everything the way that it should have been explained. I kind of feel like I, uh, I'm a little iffy about this tutorial i'm not quite sure but i'm just going to put it out there and you guys let me know if i did not explain it good enough if i did an awesome job explaining it was was good let them, let me let me know something let me know but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and as always make sure that you come and join the sun clan family y'all we are almost at 1k followers in our sun clan facebook group oh my god and i forgot to tell you guys we hit 5k subscribers on youtube what's good sun clan family y'all just growing and growing i mean i cannot do this without y'all everything i do is for you guys y'all keep me motivated when i be feeling like damn i don't want to do this tutorial i just want to give up and i have y'all standing behind me like girl come on what's up we, we trying to get this tea what's good it's good with the tea, son, right? And then it just, you know, give me that boost and make me just want to go harder. So thank you guys for that. Thank you so much, y'all. Without you guys, it wouldn't be a sun ray. You feel me? Like, you know. So thank you guys. We hit 5K. I'm definitely going to do something special because 5K, that's like a, that's a big deal for you. That's a big deal for us, y'all. That's a big deal. You guys, make sure you check out the Sunray blog. Um, Chasing Sunray blog is www.chasingsunray.com. I got a couple of uh, written patterns on there. I will be posting my written patterns on there. I do a daily vlog that hasn't been so daily because y'all know how life gets. But yeah, that's that, that pretty much concludes the tutorial. Y'all know, as always, stay sunny. I love you guys and stay blessed.